Welcome back, Rangers. What can I do for you? Happy to. Take a look. People, Troy, do something! What are they doing here? What do you want, lamos? <laughs> no way, it's like my dad's or something. I just brought it for the party. Uh, yeah. Do you even know who Troy's dad is? He's like, totally rich. We don't party with old people, but I guess we can't stop you, seeing as you've got guns and all. You lamos should go hang out with those nerds upstairs. They're more your speed. <laughs> yeah, go hang out with the nerds. Hey, did you know I have a sixth sense? Really? Yeah, I see old people. <laughs> what? What the hell, Rangers? Dick move, dicks. Now what are we gonna drink? What's your problem? Uh, you again. You smell like my grandpa! Whatever.
problem, Rangers. Okay, just outside the town, you see Medicine Sam, a uh, traveling merchant walking along. He's got a big pack of first aid stuff and a mean old dog named Nursey for protection. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to say hello? Oh, I want to pet the doggy. I pumped the guy for information. Ask him about the rowdy boys. <laughs> you said pump. What kind of name is Nursey for a card dog? Why isn't he named Hellhound or Fang or something cool? Nursey's a cool name. It's... What do you call it? Contrary to expectations? <laughs> Come on, guys. Are we playing or talking? Okay, okay. We, uh, pump the medicine guy for information. What does he say? Uh, hi. Who are... Oh my god! Yeah, you're rangers! Real life, actual rangers! Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We'd be honored. Oh man, you are in for a treat! It's the world's greatest game of imagination and... math. My Uncle Gary made it up before he left town. Based it off stories he heard about you guys over the radio. Everybody takes on the role of a desert ranger, and together they try to bring justice to the lawless wastelands of Arizona. Neat, huh? Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We oh my god, this is awesome! Here, I brought an extra character, just in case something bad happens. You'll be Boomer, a strong, silent type who knows explosives and carries a big-ass club. Okay. So, where was I? Oh yeah, Medicine Sam says he hasn't seen the Rowdy Boys, but he just left the Rail Nomads, and they've been talking about nothing else. So, now what? Let's head into town, see what we find. Okay, the narrow canyon you're in opens wide as you enter the Rail Nomads camp. You hear the distant whistle of a train. This area is a big travel hub where the tracks the Atchison's and the Topekans laid all come together. I roll a 65% perception to try to pick up the trail of the criminals. <laughs> Sorry. The ground is too well traveled by the locals, so you can't distinguish their tracks. You do, however, spot a bar nearby. We go to the bar, and I try to ask people about the rowdies. Ouch. 20% on confidence. That's not getting you anywhere. You manage to offend one of the Topekans, and the whole bar shuns you. Only a stinky hobo who calls himself Vod Carl says he knows anything. And he won't talk until you buy him a drink. Oh, 95% success! <laughs> The hobo weeps in defeat and gives you the info. He says he saw one of the rowdies riding fast through the east side of town with someone thrown over their saddle horn. He couldn't see who it was. <gasps> They've kidnapped somebody. G let's go after them. When you arrive at the east side of town, you see the rowdy boys mounting their horses near the train tracks. Their leader, the heartless cleft chin Clarence, mocks you as the rest of his gang turns to flee. Look over there, Rangers! He points to a woman tied up on the tracks. That's Carolina, the princess of the Santa Fe tribe. And she's gonna get splatted by that there train any second now. Gonna chase us or save her, Rangers? The nomads will never forgive you if she dies. He laughs and mounts up and rides off with his boys. What? Oh, man! I forgot I gave you a law! Ah. Well, okay, a 99%. I guess the train explodes. Boom! Caught out in the open. The rowdy boys are no match for you. 
your superior horses and expert training enables you to catch up to them and defeat them with ease. The Santa Fe tribe scrapes their meager possessions together to offer you a reward for saving Carolina. The next day, you head out into the desert to continue your pursuit. Okay, that's all I got for today. It was fun playing with you, Rangers. Guess we'll pack up and head home for the night. Oh, yes! Absolutely, yes! <laughs> we'll see you there the next time we play. You again. You smell like my grandpa. <laughs> right. You're not the marshals. We don't have to listen to you. We're not going anywhere. You don't know who you're messing with, bros. You know who my daddy is. What's your, what's your problem, Rangers? Ugh, you again. You smell like my grandpa. Psh, yeah, Troy and Brandy forever, right? Yeah, as long as you keep your eyes on me. Not all those other hussies. Ugh, babe, I told you you're the only one for me. I can't help it if I sometimes get distracted. You better help it, or we're done. Just like last week, or three weeks ago. Oh, that's so sweet. You, uh, look pretty strong. How far can you throw a football? Uh, Brandy? Are these rangers bothering you? Hmm? <laughs> no, we're just talking. You know, rangers, you've all got nice eyes. Know any sailor stories about the sea's raging glory? Just talking, right. So why'd you get so pissed when I was just talking with Heather last week? You did not just bring up that whore Heather. Troy, you piece of shit! That's not even remotely the same thing and you know it! Fuck you! Brandy, baby! Come back! What the fuck was that, Rangers? You know how hard it's gonna be to get the party back on track after that? Whatever. <laughs> oh, God! What's happening? My soul is dying! This is the worst music ever! I want to die! Make it stop! The noise stopped. Thank you, Rangers. I can sleep at last. And so can my cats. Here, a little something for your trouble, since I'm sure that tight fist, the Patriarch, isn't paying you much. I'm gonna send a special surprise to your clubhouse or headquarters or whatever you call it. Nah, nah, I'm not saying what it is, but you'll love it, I promise. Thanks, Rosie. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Come on, kitties. The noise is over. You can come out now. <laughs> 